神秘の力を宿すドレスデン石マン私に従いなさい It's finally fucking over and I can't believe it. I'm sad as fuck. This is one of my favorite animes so far that I've ever watched since the age of fucking 13 and I'm 20, 24 right now. Oh man. Fucking sucks, dude. Noragami's done. K Return of Kings is done. One Punch Man is done. What a sad time. What a sad time. So I have. A bajillion questions that this anime has left me with its ending. I'll get to those those fucking questions in a minute, but I want to talk about the last episode. It, if I felt fulfilled watching the last episode,、um, I feel the characters did what they had to do, the characters were well built, characters that, are, that died in this episode. You, you, you felt for them, you felt for their main goal, you felt for what they were doing. Obviously, it wasn't the right thing that, that they were doing, but you felt for them.、Um, they went out with a bang. I mean,、um, the fight with Kuro and, and his brother with the same sensei, that fight was fucking beautifully done. The, the, the fight with Shiro and the Green King, it wasn't really much of a fight, more of a power struggle, but the animation was. Beautiful. The music in the background, Jesus Christ. This anime and its music is insane. They know when to play electronic music, they know when to play soft melodic tones, they know when to play everything. It sets the tone and it makes the viewer very, very into it. Like, I, I, I literally, it, it, it melts you into the anime. There's, there's moments when I'm watching the anime. And I'm, I'm obviously reading the subtitles, but I can't help to stop reading for a second and listen to the music because it's so beautiful. The animation since day one, since episode one, since the first season, has been out of this world. The animation is on a league of its own 3D art, everything. It's, it's amazingly beautiful. Done the fight scenes, the, 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 the lucid fucking auras and, and powers and, 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 and swiftness of everything. It's beautifully done. I recommend this anime to anybody looking for a great watch. This anime, to me, I give it a 10 out of 10.、Um, to me, it fulfilled what I was looking for. And if I give it a 10 out of 10, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are gonna probably not give it a 10 out of 10, but you guys are going to enjoy it. I promise you that. The questions I have that I'm left up in the air When the slates were broken、uh, by Shiro's sword of Democles,、um, it is said that if the slates are broken, I mean,、um, there's balance basically, there's no more powers. From what you're told, obviously, the slates、uh, being exposed give everybody random powers, so them being destroyed obviously means no more powers. Hence, why the Blue King is still alive. His, blue, his sword of Democles disappeared, all their swords did, so there, it, it tells the viewer that there is no more powers. At that moment of it being destroyed, you see Kuro use his slingshot power to save Neko and Shiro from what I think.、Um, It was, the Great King,、uh, the building was falling. He's like, Yo, get out of here. This shit, you know, there's nothing here. So I think the building was falling, but whatever. He used his power to get out of the building. I thought if the slates were broken, you lose your power. But hold on. Let's just say that it took a while for people's powers to disappear. Hence why Shiro it, is still in his body talking to Neko and Kuro. Telling them that my powers are fading, my powers are fading, I'm going to. This body isn't mine, which I. When the fuck was that body not his? I mean, did I miss something? I remember the fight with him, with him and the Colorless King, but、um, I guess I don't remember the swap of the body, but whatever. It happened. I missed it.、Uh, let's just say I found out right there. It's not really a big deal.、Um, so he says, My powers are fading, my powers are fading, and he, he gives. Obviously, the powers fade. He can't hold、um, his 
conscious or whatever anymore in that body and so the body's given back at the end of the anime we see um adolf k wiseman which is shiro in his original body having dinner with neko and kuro now if he is known as the immortal king he can't die from what we know we had a flashback in this anime where it shows Adolf K. Wiseman, I think with his sister and someone uh, someone else, I, don't, I can't remember, but it was a flashback of when the slates were being created or it was a war back in the day, back in the day. Adolf K. Wiseman still looks exactly the same like he hasn't aged at the end of the anime. So as I'm confused. I mean, is there something I'm missing um, or is there something I'm not getting or is there something I'm not connecting? The powers are gone. How are you still alive? You know? Other than that, I'm happy with how the anime ended. I'm happy with how the characters are left off. Everybody becomes friends from what, sh from what the pictures at the end of the credits are telling us. Uh, for example, you see Anna with the little with the little white haired kid from the green clan the little psycho game addict kid so it shows that everybody comes together neko goes to school shiro becomes a teacher um it was a great ending i'm confused yes but it was an amazing ending um i remember the season one was fucking confusing too it, it was really confusing but it's a great story you know other than that um, I would love to talk to you guys about K Return of Kings down in the comment section below or you guys could tell me what new animes are resembling this anime and I'm down to watch them you know so you guys like and subscribe you guys have a good one happy new years merry late Christmas and or merry late holidays and you guys have a good one